if you're planning on visiting or visiting Hershey Park, one of the key components while you navigate your day at Hershey Park is figuring out what are going to be the longest lines at the park. And if you're wondering what rides have the longest wait times at Hershey Park, this is the video for you. Now what you're going to notice with some of these rides that are on this video is that they're not necessarily the most highest, most thrilling rides, but rather rides that appeal to everybody. Outside of maybe one or two rides on this list, most of the rides have a wide target audience that can expand a wide variety of riders from kids all the way to adults. More people, more riders, it just makes sense. So all that being said, let's talk about the first ride on this list, which is Laugh Track. Now you'd think a ride in the back of the park typically has a shorter wait time, that holds true for the most part for Hershey Park, but Laugh Track consistently, ever since it opened, has held one of the longest wait times at Hershey Park. There have been days where I've been at the park and Laugh Track has been listed at a wait time of over two hours. Yes, it can get that busy. To be honest, if I see this ride at a 30 minute wait time, I'm feeling pretty good about that. 30 minutes is pretty short for Laugh Track standards. I think partially is because everyone can enjoy this from kids that are Reese's all the way up to Jolly Ranchers, adults, even grandparents. So if you're a person that's going to Hershey Park and you want to do Laugh Track, even though it's in the way back of the park, I would do it either at the very beginning or at the very end of your day. Outside of that, this ride can have a very heavy wait time. Let's jump from the back of the park to the front of the park and talk about Comet, the oldest operating roller coaster at Hershey Park. Even though this ride may be old, lots of the guests still enjoy it, and this is typically one of the longest roller coaster lines you'll see at Hershey Park. On most days, it is the longest. Comet is a roller coaster without any major flaws. It's a very well-balanced wooden roller coaster, very typical old-fashioned wooden roller coaster, but that appeals to a lot of guests. It takes a lot for someone to go up to Comet and say, yeah, this ride really isn't for me. Comet can appeal to a wide range of guests. Similar to Laugh Track, this is a roller coaster that I've seen get into the one, two hour, even three hour range on the park's busiest days. It's absolutely crazy the amount of people that ride Comet, but I love it. And the park has really invested in the Comet this offseason, giving it some new trains, some new restraints, so I really don't see this wait time dropping. Let's change gears here just briefly and talk about a non-roller coaster, that is Reese's Cut Fusion. In my opinion, Cut Fusion is the longest wait time you'll have at Hershey Park that is for a non-roller coaster. With its location right at the front of the park and the hollow, this ride's gonna have a long wait time pretty much for the entirety of the day, but for good reason. At its opening, I was a little torn on whether or not Reese's Cup Fusion was an upgrade over Reese's Extreme Cup Challenge, but over the years, I've really come to enjoy it, and it really provides a fun, elaborate experience for everybody, for pros that ride the ride all the time, or even for a first-time rider. It really appeals to everybody. Waiting in this line is also a bit more bearable than the rest because Hershey Park wisely placed these TVs throughout the queue that kind of shows a little story of what you're trying to protect while you're riding the ride, which was a really good touch. In my personal opinion, if you're going to Hershey Park, this is a must ride. This is a super unique flat ride experience, so I really think it's worth the wait doing this one. Even though it's not a roller coaster, definitely give a ride on Reese's Cut Fusion. You will not regret it. If you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to drop a like and leave a comment down below, and I will do a part two. And also, if you enjoy going to Hershey Park or you just love learning about Hershey Park, I'd highly recommend subscribing. This is your number one source for all things Hershey Park, and I'd love to have you join the Hershey Attic community. Now, before I talk about the last ride, I do want to preface that these four rides I talked about are not the only four rides with long wait times. This list can fluctuate depending on the day. Some days, these rides may be the longest, some days maybe not so much, but generally speaking, I feel like these are the four major contenders for the longest lines at Hershey Park. All that being said, the last ride on this list is Fahrenheit. I'm not sure if it's the imposing vertical drop or just the fact that this car has shorter trains than some of the other roller coasters, but the GP, the enthusiasts, we all love getting in line for Fahrenheit. Year after year, in terms of the highest thrilling roller coaster at Hershey Park, for whatever reason, Fahrenheit is always a long line on any given day, it seems. Sure, when the park opens, Ken not even gets a long line, but that line really dwindles down as the day goes on. But Fahrenheit, pretty much for the majority of the day, this is going to have a couple hour long wait. And you know Fahrenheit isn't necessarily my favorite roller coaster at Hershey Park, just the pure uniqueness of Fahrenheit makes this wait time more than worth it, at least for me personally. If you don't want to wait a couple hours for Fahrenheit, this has got to be one of your first or last targets of the day. Because if you go any time during the middle of the day, you're going to be met with a long wait time. But I do think Fahrenheit is worth it. 
but I think most of these major rides at Hershey Park, especially the ones on this list, are worth it. Hershey did such a good job of having such different and comparison experiences for their major attractions, where if you miss one of these major rides, you're missing such a valuable part of the Hershey Park experience. There's some lower tier rides like Wild Mouse, Jolly Ranch Remix that you could perhaps skip on, but even those rides, especially Jolly Ranch Remix, they turned to become a boomerang into unique experience. It's just that Hershey factor, I guess. But those four rides, Laugh Track, Comet, Reese's Cup Fusion, and Fahrenheit are four of my major contenders for the longest wait times at Hershey Park. Of course, there are very more, and if you'd like to see a part two, again, let me know. I'd love to talk about this topic more if you guys enjoy it. But for now, that's all I have for this video. Again, if you enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe, share this video. And for all that out of the way, I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day, and hope to see you soon from the Hershey Addict. Peace.